I've always wanted to design the perfect workspace, an ideal working environment that is suited to my needs. We all have our own idea of what the perfect workspace would be. For me, it would be a space that prioritises convenience, something that aids in improving my productivity and complements my everyday work. I am an artist and practicing architect, so I spend a lot of time working at the desk. It's essential to have a dedicated space which encourages you to create, and my current workspace is something that I've gradually improved over time. I've purchased cameras, lenses, microphones, and I was even able to build my own PC. So I am satisfied with most of the equipment that I have, but not with the space that I work in. It's a very small room, I've tried and tested many setups to make use of the space available and see what works best. I've had this desk over here for a while now, along with this chair, which is literally falling apart. Above the desk, there is this large timber beam that I made so that I could clamp the camera to something, and to light my drawing space, I have this flimsy LED light. At the other side of the room, there is an open bookshelf that stores everything from books to art supplies. Usually this is a mess and I'm not much of a fan for having everything on display, with an exception to books. On top of this, I have some paper and a printer. In the corner, there is this tall lamp that I use to also light this room up. The cream coloured carpet in here is a bit of a mess now and the walls could also do to be painted again. You might have noticed this white brick wallpaper, and whilst I am a fan of its look, it's not actually on the wall properly. I had just taped it up there as a backdrop. It's not ideal. Around my desk, I have some soundproof foam that I had placed on the walls and ceiling. Also, there are two windows in this space, however you cannot see them because they are currently covered up. So that is my current workspace in all of its glory, and I'm aware that it could do to be improved. I'm grateful to have a dedicated space for creating, but I think that I can make it a lot better. In this video, I'm going to finally take the time to do that. I'm going to design my perfect workspace. So let's get to work. The first step was to measure up the size of this room and draw out a plan view. As I said, it's a small space, around one and a half meters by two and a half meters. Here I created this plan to scale, showing my current workspace and the position of the windows and the door. Once I had all of the measurements I needed, it was time to empty this room. I wanted to replace most of what was in here, so everything was taken out, then I cleaned up and repainted the walls. Now at this point, I had put a lot of thought into what I wanted this space to be like. I've always wanted more desk space, and so that was a priority here. I did a lot of research and had the idea to purchase a kitchen worktop which would span along the side of the back wall. This of course would take up a lot of space, but there was also a lot of benefit to doing this. With my monitor in the middle, I would have a lot of desk space to work on. I could have my computer tower on the worktop to one side and the printer at the other side. If I had the desk across here, it wouldn't obstruct these windows, which meant I could finally install some blinds and let some natural light in. I also made sure this would leave enough room for a chair, along with some shelves and storage units which could go under the worktop. I now had a plan for my new workspace. When it came to purchasing a suitable worktop, there were so many to choose from, and I eventually settled on this laminated worktop with a concrete effect. To support the worktop, I had considered using trestles or table legs, but then decided that it would be better to build a wooden frame around the wall and sit it on top. In addition to this, I intended on getting some drawers that could go under the worktop to give it more support. The worktop was cut down to size and fitted nicely. I also made the decision to mount my computer monitor on the wall and remove the stand it was previously on as this would also free up some space. As planned, the computer tower was placed to one side. The next step was placing some shelves above the worktop and these were positioned across here so that I had something to clamp my camera to. Also, these shelves can still be used to display smaller items like camera lenses and more. 
I was in desperate need of replacing the carpet in here and one benefit to having a small space like this is it doesn't cost a lot for a carpet. So the old one came up and a new one was put down. I went for this thin grey one. I needed something that was tough as a chair with wheels would be on it and as for a chair I was willing to invest some money into one which was of high quality. I obviously spend a lot of time sitting down and so it was important to get something made to last. I did my research and eventually came across the Ergo Chair 2 from Autonomous. It's an ergonomic chair with a nice design. It also has many positive reviews and so with a lot of consideration, I decided this was the one to go for. I had chosen to get the black and white one and it was delivered quicker than I expected. It didn't take long to assemble and it's fair to say that it was definitely an upgrade in comparison to my previous chair. In terms of storage in this workspace I had purchased some drawers to go under the desk and I also placed this metal shelving unit to the side. There was also enough room remaining for the lamp. For the two windows, I had purchased some blackout blinds from the website 247blinds.com. I had to wait a while for them to be delivered, but they were made to a specific size, which meant they fitted nicely. One important factor to consider when designing a setup like this is cable management. I wanted to avoid having a lot of cables tangled up on the floor, and so I purchased some of these cable tidy trays and fixed them underneath the worktop to support and arrange all of my cables. I also decided to drill two holes in the worktop and fit these grommets. These worked well and allowed me to pull cables up and under the worktop. I had placed some black sand proof foam across the back wall and under the worktop. So now I was ready to arrange the rest of my equipment and store all of my art supplies, books and more. The printer was placed to one side of the worktop and my microphone was attached to the wall next to the computer monitor. I had also purchased a large black cutting mat that sat on top of the worktop. This would be my drawing space. I also fitted some LED light strips across the back wall, and at this point, the workspace was complete. This video was a behind the scenes look at how I have designed my workspace. There is still some work to do in terms of organisation and decoration, but I finally have a workspace that I am satisfied with. If you enjoyed the content I create, then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You will gain access to exclusive tutorials, study documents, process papers, real-time drawing footage and more. Plus, you will also be supporting me in a more personal way. Other than that, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.